Hello YouTube, DJ Gage Trains again. Got another subway set. This is the fourth one in the uh, series of subway sets that I'll be running. This is the R21 Redbirds, a very old set, very popular set uh, with subway enthusiasts. I think almost every one of us has this set. Um, this is the R21 Redbirds. Um, you can tell that this is an R21 by the uh, square window with the... Uh, with the bar going across. If we look at these R17s here, there's a circular window with the uh, bar going across, and uh, that's one of the distinguishing features. So the R21s were actually not red birds in real life. Uh, they started out uh, painted in the uh, green paint scheme, and then they were painted in silver and blue, and then they were painted in the off-white paint scheme. Um, and then they were eventually scrapped. Uh, very few, if any, made it to this Redbird era. But um, this is the model that MTH selected to make um, in the Redbird scheme. It's still very popular. It's very, very close to the R26 uh, subway cars. That was the first in the Redbird series. And it's still a very sought-after model, very nice. Um, this was announced in 2000 and I think finally released in 2001. Um, MTH is finally reissuing a Redbird subway set. Um, they're doing R26 Redbirds, and um, according to the catalog, they will be signed up on the number two line. Um, but in looking at the catalog, they got a couple of errors with it. Um, the uh, number board, uh, the number two number board on it is a square rather than a circle. It should be a circle. And um, I think there are a couple other errors, too, that I can't remember. Um, in any case, I'm going to wait for it to be released and see what it looks like and see what it sounds like. Um, this is a 1980s, early 90s Redbird scheme with the uh, M logo and the uh, little green band under the number board. Um, what I'm hoping they do is put a little yellow band under the number board. Uh, there won't be a logo on it because they can't put the logo. But I'm hoping for the little yellow band there and an American flag, which means then I could put the modern uh, M logo on it, the MTA logo, and run it as a uh, Redbird set that came out shortly before the retirement of the Redbirds in 2003. So this is an awesome set. I used to ride the number two line a lot up to the Bronx Zoo uh, when they had the Redbird cars on it. Um, I'm an animal enthusiast as well as a train enthusiast, so I spent a lot of time at the zoo. Um, as a teenager, I worked in some pet shops and things like that. And um, excuse me, I I really enjoyed the animals, and I really enjoyed riding the number two train up on the uh, White Plains line up to the zoo. And uh, it also ran alongside the number five line. Uh, the number five line wasn't graffiti back then; it was Red Bird, just like the two train. And um, other than the number seven line, it was the only subway line, the uh, White Plains line, that was uh, completely Redbird. Uh, the only other one was the number seven, and that line had the picture window R36 cars painted in the Redbird scheme, which I'm hoping MTH will release one day. They've done the World's Fair uh, R36s twice, and I'm hoping that they do uh, R36s again in the Redbird paint scheme. And even in the off-white paint scheme would be nice, too. Um, they did R12s in the off-white scheme, but more popular, more commonly seen, was the R36s in the white scheme. But in any case, I'm going to turn this train on now and let you hear all the stops in it. Um, this is a very common, very popular subway set uh, with the subway enthusiasts, so I know that this is one of many, many, many videos of this, but uh, one more can't hurt, and you'll get to hear all the stops. So here you go. Enjoy. Auto mode. Thank you. 
Washington, all syndication, please advise. Hold your train for the RCI. There's my stop. It's really cool when you're running these trains and it brings back good memories of childhood. It's one of the fun things about the hobby.
try your doors again. Conductor, this is your motorman. Do you have indication? Motorman, this is your conductor. Yes, I have indication. Next stop, Wall Street. go Flatbush Avenue is actually the end of the line and I'm running out of video so I uh, hope you enjoyed it the train would then go back up to 241st Street thanks for watching and there'll be a couple of more subway videos coming take care